Hi everyone, today's quick tutorial is about how you can create GCP service accounts and assign them IAM roles but with conditions on those IAM bindings or roles. So first of all, what are service accounts? A service, service account is a special uh, kind of account used by application or compute workload such as your compute engine instances rather than a person. A service account is identified by its email, which is unique to the account. Now, there are some key differences between your service account and your cloud, out, uh, cloud identity users. The differences are your service accounts do not have any password, whereas cloud identity users are given a password to log into browsers. Now, the differences you can let other users or service accounts impersonate a service account by impersonate i mean that other users can act as the service account now the difference is service service account do not belong to google workspace domain hence google workspace or cloud identity admins can't own or manage the service account it is you as a user who creates the service account who manage the service account or who owns the service account that you're creating next what do i mean by i am condition so with i am conditions you can choose to grant access to principles only if specified conditions are met when a condition exists the access request is granted only if condition expression evaluates to true each condition expression is a set of logical statement that specify one or more attributes to check. Now there are a few things to remember when we are working with IAM conditions. So you cannot use conditions when you grant basic roles to any of the principal. Your basic roles include owner, editor and viewer. Next is conditional role bindings do not override role bindings with no conditions. So imagine if your principal has a role binding of compute engine with no conditions on it and then you are giving the same role to that person in which you have a condition. Let's say you have put a condition that says the compute engine role should expire within 20 minutes that will not work for you because your uh, as per the rule conditional role bindings do not override role bindings with no conditions so the priority is for the role bindings with no conditions next is you cannot use conditions when you grant roles to all users or to all authenticated users so without further ado let's go and do things practically so let's go to the gcp console console.cloud.google.com make sure you've logged in with the right id and then select the project in which you want to create the service account so if my project is already selected that is out of tech foundations click on the navigation menu go to im and admins and then click on service account in order to create a service account, we'll click on this plus icon that says create service account. We'll give this the appropriate name. Then we'll save it condition. And then I'm going to click on create and continue. I'm going to give this the role of compute instance admin. Going to give this the condition that this role should expire in 10 minutes from this particular service account. Condition type will be time and then expiring access. In operator, I'm going to select duration because I want it to be type of duration so that it expire in 10 minutes. And then save. So we've created this service account. I'm going to copy this and I'm going to go and see it in the IM section. I should be able to see the role of compute instance admin beta. 
just to see whether this is working fine for us or not i'm going to impersonate, impersonate the service account and run few commands so in order to impersonate any service account you as a user should have service account token creator role assigned to yourself so i'm going to click on the cloud shell and run the impersonate command the command will be gcloud config set auth impersonate service account and then the email id of the service account so copy it and paste here you can see i have successfully impersonated the service account now any command i run now will be ran via the service account that we created so g cloud compute instance list you can see i've got the details of the instance that is there in this project there's only one instance for now let's just wait for 10 minutes and after that we'll see whether running the same command would work for us it should not work because after 10 minutes the role that we've provided to the service account should expire and we should get a permission error so let's just wait for 10 minutes and then i'll run the same command so it's been more than 10 minutes let's check if this essay is still working as it was working earlier for us it should give us the permission error Perfect. It says that we don't have the required permission. Why? Because the essay we used and we assigned it the role of a compute instances admin has now expired. So if we go and see it in the service account section, then I can see there are no permissions on the service account. no permissions here this service account has not been granted any rule and as you can see it says expired in 10 minutes and we practically tried to call the instances in this project and we were given a permission error that's all for the tutorial i hope you like this please leave your comments any feedback that you think in the comment section. Thanks for watching.